For number 20, we're asked to choose the statement that is equivalent to, if I don't have a hammer, then I can hammer in the morning. So let's change this to um, symbolic form. I'm going to let P represent I have a hammer and Q represent I can hammer in the morning. So the, con the conditional statement that we're given is if I don't have a hammer, if negation P, then I can hammer in the morning Q. And then if I go through on this part 1, 2, 3, and 4 and translate them translate the, the statements to symbolic form. I'll have an if P then negation of Q, if Q then P, if negation of Q then P, and this one would be negation of Q or if negation of Q then negation of P. Now for the statement that's given, if that's considered considered our conditional statement. Then we know that for a conditional statement, think back to the variations on the conditional. The statement that would be a variation on the conditional that is logically equivalent is is contrapositive. We know that a conditional statement and its contrapositive are logically equivalent. So if negation of P then Q is our conditional statement. The contrapositive of that statement, we would interchange the two statements and also we want the negation of the two original statements. So uh, because in a conditional, if I have just, just simply if P then Q as the conditional statement, its contrapositive would be if negation of Q then negation of P. So the statements have interchanged and also we found the negation of those two statements. So if I interchange these two statements I'll end up with the Q and P but I also want the negation of those two statements. So originally if I have a Q I'd need a negation of Q. Originally if I have a negation of P then to negate it I would want plain P. So for the conditional negation P, or if negation P, then Q, its contrapositive would be negation Q, then P. And that would show that they're equivalent. So if we go back up to the statements that are given that we've translated, it looks like 3 would fall into negation of Q, or if negation Q, then P. Um, we could always use truth tables. So if you wanted to set up a truth table that included negation P then Q and also these other four options, you could look to see which truth, um, which truth statements or the answer column to these different uh, uh, sentences would be identical. And you would find that the original would match with that third one. The answer columns would be the same. So the answer there is 3. The conditional and option 3 would be your equivalent statements.